What's up guys? I'm just filling up my shaker bottle for my pre-workout. Anybody with me yet? We are gonna go train some arms at our apartment gym. Me and Narman. I had a busy day today, a lot of driving. A lot of big, big news to come. <laughs> First comment I get on there is penis. <laughs> Another one. Wow, this guy is not cool. <laughs> Can you block somebody right away? Saying it over and over again? What's up, guys? See, this guy keeps doing that. Really? My mom looks at this shit. Oops, says shit. Sorry, mom. What's going on, guys? Just taking my pre workout right now. Carnage gym. I can find the, I can find the scooper. Is anybody else had that wrong? What's up, guys? What up, Mexico? That's one. I did two scoops of this. We're gonna go. It's late here. It's like 7:30, so I'm only gonna do one scoop of EVP, just because I don't want that much caffeine. I am not Latino, you guys. I am Fil Filipino and white. I'm like 190, 195 right now. I lost some weight in Kuwait, you guys. Like 15 pounds. I lost in Kuwait. Where are you watching? Hmm? Oh, where are you laying? <laughs> so, that was one scoop of EVP Plus. <clears throat> I'm going to do one scoop of Cell Kim before my training. This has also got the NO in there. And uh, some creatine. I'm going to be training at my, my apartment and gym tonight. I also do one uh, scoop of cell chem during my workout. And I'll do one scoop of uh, glycogen. And then we will walk over to the gym. It's like a two minute walk. So, we'll let the pre-workout kick in a little bit. Hey, what's up Ivan? How you doing, man? Okay. <laughs> you look ready? Take your, you take your your sponsor supplements. Mark? Yeah, just took hers. I took mine. What's up, Roger? How you doing, man? Talk to you in a while. Good to see you on here. But you guys like the Evogen sweats or the Evogen spandex that you're talking about, Andre? I don't think we have those for sale online. Those are actually um, those are another brand we just slapped our logo on for Olympia, so I had some stuff to wear. But I think we got those coming soon. Actually, let me in my gym bag. Hold on, you guys. Show you guys my room. This is my my room. Our room. Grab the gym bag. And we are set. Sing around. Me and Norman are gonna be heading over. Do you have your keys? Yeah. All right. Get my shaker. Where's my shaker at? Where'd I put it? And we're off. Well, I keep calling, keep them on here without. Alright guys, so we're gonna head over to the gym. 
That's with Norman. Yeah, she's training with me tonight, Ryan. They all say hi. Hi. So she'll be answering questions too for you girls that are on here. If you guys have any questions about but, uh, what we're doing. But uh, I haven't trained. I trained uh, back two days ago. I took yesterday off. There we are. Okay, guys. You with me still? You guys still with me? We lost a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, they're coming back. They're coming back right now. All right. Sorry about that. I don't have any service in our elevator. We live on the top floor. Now yeah, we are walking around, so I'm going to flip around for you guys. Good spot. You guys got any questions, ask them. We're training arms today. Any questions about my pre-workout? I've taken a, some time off, to be honest, this past month, and I'm ready to get back on the grind. Really want to start training hard and have a productive off-season. I'll tell Hani, I said, what's up? We're all, me and Armin are flying up to Sacramento to the Sacramento Pro Show, so I'll be seeing Hani this weekend. And uh, ooh, getting a re sign with Eva Jen this weekend also. So, new contract, everything. I'm excited about that. What's my favorite intro workout? I do uh, one scoop of Glycoject and one scoop of uh, Cell Chem. Sometimes two scoops of Glyco, just depending on my food. The more carbs I take in throughout the day, the less glyco I'll use, opposed to a lower carb day during my off season. Just depending on how full I'm feeling and whatnot. But if I feel a little flat, I'll up those. What's up, Raleigh, North Carolina? I'll be coming out there very soon, actually. I believe I have a, I do have an event I'm coming out in, in January in Raleigh. Uh, that's all going to be confirmed. Here, hold on. So this is when we walk into the gym. It's pretty cool. It's like cabanas, waterfall area, pool, and spas over there. We have yet to use it yet. I think we need to. Maybe get that tonight. This dude, Kevin, needs to bounce. You're saying something. All right, so we're walking up to the gym. It is about eight o'clock here. About seven thirty. Yeah, eight o'clock. Yeah. Now we are coming to the gym. Let's start with uh, some cables, maybe. Typically, I like to do the FSC seven sets at the end of my workout. Today, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing FSC seven sets. It's been a long day. So let's see. We're gonna start with, uh, let's just start with some machine pro right here. Just get the blood flow. I like this machine actually, because it's very, it isolates the bicep really well. So this is like the home gym. Really not that bad. The treadmill's over there. Cable. Some more machines. And then it wraps around back over there. Sub Idaho. Appreciate you having you here. Can you get started? Uh huh? Really important to stay hydrated during your workout. You'll lose your pump really quick. Your body will stiffen up. You won't even get a pump if you're not hydrated. I don't count calories in my off season. So, honestly, I've just been trying to get five, six meals in a day. My diet hasn't been the best. Today was actually been a really good day eating. So, got some really solid meals in. I did, uh, Chicken three times. I had some lean ground turkey spaghetti. Oatmeal and egg whites in the morning. Yes, you guys, I will be coaching, and that's one of my big announcements that uh, is going to be coming very soon. More details on my coaching. And uh, 
I'm just really excited to get back into the game. I was coaching a lot with my team I had with Fit Body Fusion with a lot of athletes about a year and a half ago, and I've just kind of stopped since, but we're going to be picking that back up again. What nationality are you? Palestinian. There you go. Pre-workout. You guys missed it. I just took it. I did EVP, EVP Plus, Carnagen, and a scoop of Selkim. First set's nice and light. Just try to force some blood in the, right into the biceps. Get the mind to muscle connection. So during my off season, you got uh, this this workout specifically. I'm just trying to get a good pump in. But in my off season, I usually go a lot heavier. My rep range is probably eight to twelve. Try about 20, 24 sets during the workout. The biggest thing that's with off season is making sure you're eating good and eating a lot and training heavy. That's gonna be your grow time. But uh, I've tried to let, I stayed a lot leaner in my last off season. And uh, that was kind of the goal. I think we're gonna go for a little bit heavier off season this time around. As of right now, the only show I'll be doing in 2017 is Olympia. So no other planned shows right now. Set to Workout questions, guys. What do you guys want to know about arms? <sighs> yeah, it's a good idea to cycle on and off a pre workout. Um, I would say every three, three weeks, come off for a week, and you guys will feel the effects of them a lot more. A lot of people just try to up their pre workouts and take more and more. And that's not what you always want to do. You're going to flood your receptors and make your sensitivity to the pre-workout you know, completely go away. So uh, come off for a week and then get back on. You guys will feel like you've just taken it again for the first time. <sighs> yeah, we'll start supersetting buys and tries. Uh, we're just going to warm the biceps off first, get a good stretch, then we'll throw triceps in. again. 10, 12 rounds. Huh? Someone wants to know, do you warm up only the first exercise? Do you warm up? I, mean, do I don't know. Do you have that question? Do we warm up? Yes, of course. Loosen up those muscles. Yeah, it's important to warm up every single exercise. <laughs> Always the first set you want to do a warm up set. 
even two or three or however many it takes for you to feel comfortable going to heavier weight. But you should always make sure you're nice and loose before you start training heavy because you're going to get hurt if you don't take it from me. With that shoulder injury I had two years ago, that was from not warming up correctly. Today's workout is going to be probably 40, 45 minutes. Typically, 60, 75 minutes is how long I train for. I really like supersets. Supersets are something that I do quite frequently. Even if I'm training just one muscle group, I like to superset two exercises together. It's a good way of maximizing your pump. Set, was it set four? Yeah. Everyone's telling you to train with CT Fletcher. <laughs> Different training styles. But, uh, wouldn't be opposed to it at all. Um, last set here, eight to ten reps. Increase the weight again. Cables are taken, so I'm going to uh, some dumbbells. Let's go to the dumbbells. My rep range between 8 and 15. I usually like to stay between 12 and 15, but um, I usually do about four sets per uh, exercise five to six exercises for a workout. Let's go hammer curls to start with. Yeah, we should have some more YouTube videos coming out. I shot a, a bunch of stuff with Evagen and Kuwait, and those videos will be coming out this week. So make sure you guys look at those. I should have them on my, on my YouTube channel, and they'll be on Evagen's also. That coaching's coming soon, you guys. Very soon. Probably in the next few weeks, uh, I'm gonna be getting started on that. I'm just making sure I'm prepared to handle you guys coming in. We'll make sure we give you the best coaching possible. Um, I haven't had any wrist issues. A lot of wrist issues are probably have something to do with your forms. So uh, if you guys' are, wrists are bothering you, start like rubbing up your forms and that should help relieve a lot of wrist problems. Um, I like drop sets a lot also. I do drop sets quite frequently. Let me get my set in real, guys, real quick. I we said that with um, the sorry uh, close grip push-ups. Close. close grip push-ups, yeah. So we're gonna superset our dumbbell. Did you go alternating or together? I didn't alternate. Dumbbell alternating curls, hammer curls. And we're gonna superset with close grip push-ups. Tuck your elbows, babe. Put your, put your hands closer together. There you go, now bring your elbows in. Let's come down. Good. I live in SoCal, man. I'm always here. Uh, I'll usually lift heavy year round, you guys. I don't really not ever train heavy. As long as I'm staying between like, like I said, eight to 12 reps. On some of my main lifts, I'll go like two or three reps. Like, uh, like squats, I'll go heavy. Deadlifts sometimes, sometimes bench press. Partial reps are some of the bread and butter of our, of our training. I'll throw some of those in right now. So you guys can see how I do partial reps.
Is there support for up here? She's halfway up, hold. Still squeezing the bicep, controlling the whole way. And you can't do those four reps anymore. Throw these partials in, burn out the muscle. We're gonna optimize the pump. You get a lot more out of the set. So those are partial reps. And we're gonna superset, sorry. With uh, closer push-ups. You can use a bench if you wanna get more reps out of it, but I like doing it on the ground. start with them with uh, push-ups but I just feel like I want to loosen the upper body up be a way to do it and then we'll jump into cables afterwards I use FST7 year-round you guys it really does work it's way I've been training the last three or four years and uh, I just feel it's the best way to build Good three-dimensional muscle, round muscle bellies, good separation. Uh, I've been doing my cardio every morning. I get up, do a minimum of 20 minutes fasted, sometimes 30, but it's important to stay on top of your cardio to keep your metabolism rolling. Huh? That's, is that too heavy? You're on Facebook right now. You're gonna say 15 pounds too heavy? Super setting. I mess up there. Jason is moving up to classic. He is. But he made some comment on Instagram the other day that made me believe he might be doing another physique show. But I don't know. From what I've heard, from what I know, he's going to classic. Either way, he's gonna hope he does well in classic if he goes up there. I don't have to compete against him anymore. I mean, your girlfriend's got better form than every other guy in the gym. <laughs> Push ups. I eat uh, my breakfast after my cardio in the morning. I like to do my cardio fasted. Uh, my first set, I did 25s. I'm probably gonna go to like 35s or 40s right now. Probably do 40s. So I'm gonna get my set in real quick.
I have a video on my YouTube um, about my shoulder injury and how I recovered from it. Just check it out. I show a lot of different exercises, what I did for it that helped me. It's on the YouTube channel. You'll find it on there. Nothing like a nice little evening pump, all right? Um, your chest is lagging, make sure you prioritize it. So hit it early on in the week. Um, make sure you're taking uh, your refeed days or your cheap meals on chest day. And uh, I would definitely suggest like doubling up on your cell cam and your glycoject um, on chest day as well. Make sure you're over nourishing the muscle, make sure that muscle's getting everything out of it that you can. So that's my advice for pretty much any lagging body part. Um, chest, make sure you're hitting a lot of incline. That's gonna give an illusion of a bigger, fuller chest if your upper chest is big. Hey, mom. Mom's on? Yeah, mom is on. Oh, my three rep max. I hit 405 for three reps, like a week and a half after Olympia. I don't think I can do that right now, but that's what I did like a couple weeks ago. I have a video of it. It wasn't the cleanest. I have a clean video I posted of me hitting 405 like for one really clean. But I hit right before I did that that set, I did 405 for three. You could say it was a little sloppy, but it, it went up. Say hi to Norman, Mom. <coughs> I'm choking. <laughs> We booked our flights home too. See you on Thursday. Here. Here. Hi, Lori. I just got one done today. I got my nails and my toes done. I can go with you though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry guys. She said she needs to get her <laughs> Love you mom. <laughs> oh. Zorig wants to get a manicure with you guys. That's what Zorig says. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Feels good to be back in the gym. Yeah, you don't ever want to take a full cheat day. I mean, you can't eat six terrible meals for you. Like, that's not smart. You know, I would limit it to just, you know, doing like a cheat day, cheat meal twice a week or something instead of having one bad day. Hey, Laura, how are you? Laura's on here too. My cousin. My cousin Laura's in here. I know dad misses the gym. I talked to him earlier today. My dad had back surgery again, you guys, earlier this week. So he's back out of the gym again. You know how much my dad likes to work out. So it's gonna be a few more months of recovery for him before he's back in lifting, lifting weights. But we know he'll be back in there. You guys like the shoes? I just got the NMDs. Like I've been looking for these shoes since they first came out. It's funny story because when the first day they came out back in March, like I'm not really a sneakerhead. Like I didn't even start liking shoes until recently. Like the, they released that day and I went there at like the opening of the store 
And like they were laughing at me when I got there because people were literally in line since like 5 a.m. I feel like such a moron. But <laughs> so I went to walk into the Foot Locker last week and there, here they are. So I got them. Pretty pumped. Hey Nick, that's why I didn't answer your phone because I'm on here. <laughs> well, we got a lot of people on here now. It's awesome. So we're out here at my home gym, training arms. We got one more set of uh, hammer curls and some close grip push-ups, and then we'll move on to the cables. So uh, we're gonna get it in, babe. What's up, man? Good man, how you doing? How are you? Good, good to see you. Yeah. You guys are Facebook Live. You want to record for you? Huh? You want to record for you? No, but you can hop in and say what's up to my phone. So good. <laughs> He's awesome. We met him the first day we moved in here. <laughs> oh, Nick and Shannon. <laughs> I will be doing online coaching as well. Give me another like two to three weeks and I should have it up. So for all those ladies interested, stay tuned. Hey bro, what's up? All right. Set for you. Brooke says hi, Norman. Hey, bro. <laughs> Who's watching the World Series right now? You know, Deadless, I don't, uh, I don't really do much deadlifts. I have li recently I've been doing more deadlifts, but I don't ever go no, too heavy. Like I haven't gone over 405. Um, if I do, I always wear a belt and I'm not doing them frequently. So yeah, I do believe you can widen your waist out if you're doing, you know, one or two rep maxes all the time. It's gonna thicken up your core. There's other exercises you can do to develop those muscles without putting that exertion on your, your core. the other side of the gym. So, one side. Hold on, Nick. Nick, watch this real quick. Uh -huh. My brother's about to leave. I want to show him the patio real quick. So when you guys come over next, next week, you need to come work out over here. All right, time for cables. It's a little dark over here. Let's go rope, push downs, and then drop it down for uh, another hammer curl. So we're gonna go uh, tricep rope, push downs, and we're super set with hammer curl. My phone's at 10%, you guys, so if I lose you, it's because my phone dies. But uh, I'll follow up probably tomorrow, tomorrow evening with another video. Huh? Or, you know what? We have Narman's phone. You guys can go over to Narman's page and finish up the workout over there because her phone's not going to die. So, uh, if you just type her name, Narman Astria, A S S R I A, and go over to her page, you can finish up the workout with her. I know, Mom, you guys need to book a trip down here. We've been waiting for you. Maybe um, before Christmas. Yeah. 
can you drop it down? All right, then put the, put, no, leave that, leave that, leave that. Let's just do this. Grip here, like that. the shoulder injury man because um if you hurt your shoulder anymore you're just gonna cause even more damage and you're gonna be out even longer you know make sure you're icing your shoulder after your workouts so like you're stretching and warming up correctly if it hurts and you lift don't push it i wouldn't i wouldn't push through unbearable pain because you're doing more damage than good so be smart take the time off that you need recover and then get back in the gym so if, i know it's hard taking time off from the gym sucks but you know it's gonna let your future depend on it. Mine will rest up for a few weeks. All right, you guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Probably have two more minutes on here, so you guys got any questions for me before I finish up this lift? And go over to Norman's Facebook, go ahead and ask away. Coming out to Hawaii next week, Aaron. Me and Norman got a vacation planned to Oahu, so we're looking forward to that. Relaxing on my beach a little bit.